Gentlemen, Antonio here. All right, let's talk about suit styles. In particular, we're going to talk about the American versus the English versus the Italian suit style. We're going to talk about all of them, their strengths, their weaknesses. And at the end of this video, we're going to declare a winner. We're going to talk about which suit style is the right suit style for you. And guys, I want to hear though, before I declare a winner, before I go out there and I make a hard declaration, who do you think, which style do you think is the best one? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to check out the infographic, I've created a beautiful infographic right over here at Real Men Real Style. Go check it out. And uh, guys, without further ado, let me introduce the contestants. So in the first corner, we've got right over here, the English suit comes out of military uniforms. It has the longest lineage. And what we find with this suit in this silhouette in general, very structured, very cut. The lines are beautifully designed over the last couple hundred years. And what's cool, there, there are a number of features, but what we see are heavier weight fabrics. We see a lot of structure in and around the chest, in and around the shoulders. Uh, a defined waistline. All of this gives a man a very masculine look. Now with this, we're going to find also very particular style features with this. So the double vent, uh, the reason you've got that in the back of the jacket, a man was riding a horse usually when he was wearing the suit and works with its history. We also see things such as the hacking pocket and that's a slanted pocket. So all of this very particular to the English style suit. Now over in this corner, we've got the Italian style suit, almost the exact opposite opposite of the English, much more casual, actually comes out of the English made for the hotter weather around the Mediterranean. So we see lighter weight fabrics. We see actually unstructured jackets that are made to fit a body very close tailoring the next, uh, just amazing tailoring, very high armholes made to fit a man and feel like a second skin. In fact, what we see is that these type of suits often got very adventurous. So we saw many of them fashion forward using very fashion forward fabrics and interesting combinations, some very unique cuts, all cutting edge coming out of the Italian school. Now the American sack suit. Now don't underestimate the American sack suit. The key to this is it is the everyday man suit made for the first suit made to be mass designed. So basically they made hundreds, thousands of these before that almost everything was individually made, but all of a sudden the American sack suits on the scene coming out of factories and all of a sudden the average guy can look above average. He can look great when he takes the suit, it builds up his shoulders, he gets it adjusted to fit him. Or if he's got a little bit of a midsection, he's a bigger, heavier built man. He can actually just wear it as a draped square. So each of these suits have their unique strengths. Each of these suits brought a lot to the industry and nowadays you kind of find hybrids of them, but let me know which one do you think is best? You guys have hopefully put it in the comments because the answer is it depends on you. I know a cop out you guys, me personally, I like the Italian style. However, it really depends on three factors, your body type, your personal need, and your personal style or AKA your wants. So let me give you three case studies of guys and where I would point them. So imagine if you are a, you're a shorter guy and you are really fit. You are, you're built, you, you've got like really good, you know, muscular build and you work in finance. Which of the styles would I recommend? I would say you can either go with the American or you could go with the Italian, but let's say you want to go with the Italian. In that case, Tailoring is going to be key with your fit body type. You want to make sure it fits close, that it looks good on you, but you maybe don't want to go with the super structured British style and you definitely want to make sure that it shows and it highlights basically that your chest is larger than your waist area. Now let's say that you are a taller guy, that you're really thin and that you work, let's say in Los Angeles and you're in the real estate market, you want to make sure that you go with something that's going to not make you look any thinner. So I'm not going to point you towards the Italian. I may not even point you towards the American because it can only be tailored to adjust and, and to fit you so much. Instead, look at the English style because it, again, it's going to build up your shoulders. It's going to build up your chest. It's going to, you know, just work for your body type and overall make you look better proportioned. Now let's say that you are a regular, you're five foot nine, but you weigh about 220 pounds and most of that you're carrying in and around the midsection. Then look at the American style because let's say that you work in construction and you don't wear a suit, but on Sundays when you go to church and occasionally for special events. So in this case, you don't want to go out there and get something custom made, but you do want something that when you put it on, you feel like a million bucks. In this case, maybe look at an American style that can be adjusted to fit your body type and that is going to work fine when you have those special 
events that you want to look great. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And again, go check out the infographic. And if you want more, I'm also going to link you guys over to my 15 free ebooks over at Roman Real Style. Guys, if you have not seen my free toolkit over at Roman Real Style and downloaded all these, you're really missing out. Some of these ebooks I literally could be selling, but I'm not. I'm making them freely available so that you can go over there and become the man you know yourself to be. Guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.